Hey guys, this is another Rome Total War video. I'm um, the Carthaginians with uh, seven sacred bad hoplites, gold gold upgrades, except for silver silver on the flanks. Four slingers, four sacred band cavalry, gold gold. And my opponent is Lord of War with five urban cohorts, surprise surprise, and five Praetorian cavalry. All gold gold upgraded. Not too much diversity in the multiplayer these days. The good thing is is that I've got <laughs> slingers, he has no missiles, which I find kind of ironic because usually the disadvantage for the Carthage Ginians is the slingers. I mean is the uh, yeah, the missile troops, lack of missile troops actually. But the Romans have elected to bring a rush army. So I can use my slingers to screen my, my secret band hoplites. This way, uh, they don't. My, the urban cohorts don't get to throw their pila, or they have trouble throwing their pila. I usually find that I don't know if it's just me, but I usually find that people who use urban cohorts, they don't rely on tactics too much. I'm sure that if people actually use them very well tactically, they'd be extremely hard to beat. But I don't know seem to be that good. No offense, really. It's just a game. Unfortunately, he was able to throw Pila into my flank unit there. Now, here's a funny thing I noticed with some Roman players. They put their men in guard mode against phalanxes, which is weird. I mean, sometimes this kind of thing happens where the backs of your men are facing the phalanx. Kind of goes to show. Uh, I mean, you're not using your your legionaries to f their full potential when you put them in guard mode like this, because they need to be able to go around the phalanx. This is just a waste of them of the of the legionaries. So he's sending Praetorian cavalry off by themselves. I'm ganging up on them with the cavalry superiority. Fortunately, he hit my line. While I was focusing off on this fight with my general. Well, look at that. The touring cab just ran right through my general phalanx. Uh, that's great. Um, yeah, so he ran through my general, hits my line, and floods them. Now my sacred band got uh, kind of hit from the side here as so they all routed. My flank units weren't fast enough to come up. And then that catastrophe back there with my general kind of ended up with this whole situation where my whole line disintegrated. Yeah, they ran right through my general right again. Just, just great. You know, if any other cavalry unit, they would have lost so many men that they would have routed. But not Praetorian cohorts, oh no. Oh, Praetorian cavalry, sorry. I was getting up in my general, trying to end him. Got three units of Sacred Band Cavalry here. Trying to, trying to deal some your damage. Your general is fleeing from the enemy. This is a shameful thing for your whole army. And my general couldn't handle the pressure, unfortunately. This is like th two Sacred Band Cavalry units against his general. He's like severely depleted. Yet they all ran. Cowards. Now here's the weird part. I think because uh, my whole line disintegrated, he thought that he could win this with a quick charge, blobbing his units up. Because he charges his general right into my phalanx, full front. At least it's a little hammer and anvil strike here, but it's not enough. Circuit band, are generally pretty good, except for that 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 catastrophe that happened. Earlier. Thankfully, I've still got slingers. They're doing a tiny bit of damage. And I've still got a lot of my cavalry that come back from routing. Which is good. I can't smile upon you today. The enemy general has been killed and his men lose heart. This one unit is holding. And you know why? His urban cohorts are in guard mode. They're not going around the flanks like they usually would. See, these guys are doing nothing. Useless. 
Anyways, sending up, surrounding his guys, setting up for some hammer and anvils. He could have won if he took advantage of this, but uh, I think he just acted a little too fast and uh, didn't show any, uh, what do you call? Caution? Too much eager, just not enough caution. He could have taken it advantage of the situation. So, trying to do hammer and animal strikes to break his urban cohorts. One strike didn't do it. Took out one unit, so that's pretty good. Slingers around the sides where they need to be, but I think I've got this in the bag. Yeah, these guys are wavering. Last strike with all my troops. You have won a significant victory, although your soldiers nearly allowed the enemy to win. <laughs> it was pretty close. So with my army with like two times more men, almost two times more men. Uh had six hundred and twenty three kills. He had more kills than me, six hundred and seventy seven kills. So good game to Lord of War. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.